We have been teasing our original ghost stories all month long. Now the time has come and we can't wait for you to see them. But, of course we couldn't let you see them without one more trick up our sleeve. So here are the trailers for the book, parts 1 and 2, coming out October 26th and October 29th respectively. We hope to see you at both premieres. A girl loved reading ever since she was little. He had debated whether or not he should tell her about the book he had kept behind the desk. When the girl asked why was the book kept behind the desk, the librarian explained how whenever someone checked it out, they quickly brought it back the next day, never wanting to see it again. As she began to read, the story started to get a bit too personal for her. Not only did it seem that the book was telling her personal story, it also stopped exactly where she was in real life. As she sat down on the steps, to try and collect her thoughts, a phone rang. I told you the number was disconnected. Looking at the figure, she was shocked to see a dark shadow covering any semblance of a face. If there were any eyes, the girl couldn't see them. All she saw were yellow slits that looked like lights were shining from behind them. The smile that graced the figure's face was horrific to say the least. It had been a whole year, 365 days since he last heard from her. His search had led to so many dead ends that he couldn't keep track anymore. This angle from the outside front door showed the girl pulling and knocking on the door as if it was locked. The timestamp on the video showed around 1 p.m. The library would not have been closed at that time. Him hearing her screaming for her life as something pulled her away from his hands. The sick smile on the monster's face as its forked tongue stuck out. She's mine. It shrieked before disappearing into the darkness with her. Looking up to see what it was, he was shocked to see the figure in the trench coat from the footage. The smile on the figure's face and the chill down his spine because of its shark-like teeth. The eyes that shone like lights through slits made him back up a few steps before taking off towards the library doors. If you enjoyed our video, let us know what your favorite part was in the comments below. For more Sweet Little Duke, check out this playlist right over here, and don't forget to drop us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell to be notified when we put out a brand new video. We post Monday through Friday at 12pm Central Time, and would love to have you as part of our YouTube troupe. Thanks for watching! Later!